All right, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. This is uh, an energy update for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, just check in here during our week. It's a rather powerful week, so uh, a lot of energy updates going on. It's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, but uh, if the uh, title brought you in here, it's probably a good reason for it, all right? Uh, it's timeless, technically speaking, although it is an April 2021 energy update. It is timeless. Energies are cyclical. They come back around. All right. So when you find this two years from now, it's valid. If you found it, it's valid. All right. Let's cut the deck for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I don't know if I'm going to extend this one yet or not. I haven't felt the energies. I only extend videos where the energies are really strong. And uh, some, there's some sort of mystery with the person because we look into the person in the extendeds. If I do extend it, you'll know because you'll have the video when it's done and the link will be in the description. All right. So if I do extend it and you want the extended, the link is in the description. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know yet, but I tell you what, Gemini, it's a pretty good chance because the bottom of the deck, the weather forecast for our reading is the star. The star card, Gemini, it's, uh, yeah, as I recall from some of your past readings, you were the unwitting bad guy or someone whose friends are all up in their ear telling them stay away from Gemini and all that. I remember some of those energy update readings or timeless readings we did for you. All right, right here is the energy around your person or situation. Right here is how your person feels in their emotions. This is how they feel about you. This is hidden energies or message from the universe, and this is the final outcome. I'll clarify everything. I'll throw some universe cards. Even if I do extend it, I don't give you guys some half reading here. All right, I'm not some shyster. All right, I give you two full readings if, if I extend it. All right, I give you two full. I give full here and full there. All right, because we, we need to know what's going on. All right, <laughs> wow. Okay, so just to remind you, the star is at the bottom of the deck after the final shuffle. The first card out of the energy around your situation or your person is the sun. A powerful major arcana card. Um, happiness. You bring this person happiness. They know that you're their happy. That's all I'm getting off this is happy, happy, happy. I know I sound like Duck Dynasty when I do that. It's, you know, it's that Florida thing and it's close enough to where the, you know, it's kind of a you know, anyway, uh, happy, happy, happy. All right, right there. The sun. Oh, my God. How, what, well, how are they feeling? What's in their emotions? <laughs> Two of cups. Gemini. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. Uh, Two of cups. This is two soulmates coming together. Usually long lost soulmates coming together. Soulmates in separation. I feel some separate. You see the separation here? That's in the energy. This is two soulmates coming together. Uh, you both, you bring, you're both happy. This connection brings you both happiness, but I think there's a lot of overthinking going on in it because the, the energy is really splintered. Okay, it's splintered energy. There's a lot of overthinking. Uh, we might see it here. I don't know. I haven't pulled the cards yet. It's, you see, it's right there. I'm not looking at it. Uh, what is the, uh, how does your person feel about you? I'll pull it right in front of you. We'll see it together. Yeah, I told you. I t I told you, I, I've been doing this a long time, okay? I, I've probably been pulling cards longer than two-thirds of the people out here on YouTube have been pulling cards. Uh, I started when I was like uh, four or five years old pulling cards. My, my mother's friend had a... Anyway, it's a long story. Uh, five of Wands. Um, this person's got back and forth inner conflict towards you. They, they're, they're, well, they're kind of scared. I get a scared thing, but there's there's been miscommunication here. Uh, and there's been a your person has been sort of looking away from the connection. I don't want to look at this, so they distract themselves with other things. And again, we still get a little of that energy we've seen before in your readings, where you were, you know, oh, stay away from Gemini. You know, people tell people in this person's ear telling them I, they're not listening to that anymore. There's too much happiness here, and in their feelings, in their emotions, in general, they do want to come together with you. Uh, they're just either not sure how to do it. We'll know more when we clarify. They're either not sure how to do it or they're just still wishy-washy in their mind. They're getting in their own way. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Gemini. Your person is getting in their own way. Right here, 
uh, uh, message from the universe. What's the universe wants you? Yeah, four of cups. Oh, look at this. And this ties with the sun. Okay, these two go together, these two go together, and this one's a standalone. The four of cups is a missed opportunity. All right. This per uh, I can tell right from this that this person ha had no interest in you early on. This is a common theme. However, the energies of April are moving. The, the, rip the dam is breaking. The river is flowing. A lot of it occurring around that Scorpio full moon on the 26th, 27th, toward the end of the month. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, your person, I can tell you right now, with the sun uh, balancing out th with the uh, four of uh, cups here, if this were a seesaw, okay, the, the, the sun would be the fat kid that gets on and flings the little skinny kid off in the middle of nowhere. That's, that's what's happening here when you try to balance these two cards. Your person is jumping around like their head's on fire and their ass is catching, all right, They're, because they rejected you in the past or they, they didn't want your cup of love or whatever it is but there's so much happiness in the connection and it, it, it's just breaking through no matter how much they try to distract themselves or how shit stupid they are and getting in their own way right coming and having these two soulmates come together it doesn't matter the four of cups doesn't beat the sun if we were playing poker and you threw a four of of hearts and i threw an ace of diamonds Okay, I win, all right? If, if we were just doing one card stud, all right? I win. You know, that, there, ain't, there ain't no rules where, that, where, the, where the ace of diamonds doesn't beat the four of hearts, all right? So here we go. Uh, what's the final outcome here? Look at this. Look at all this. Look at this. Look at the colors here. Look at all this. We start with the sun. We end with the ace of wands, all right? This is a passionate new beginning, all right? It's tied to this two of cups with the two soulmates coming together. I mean, this is the, your person. This is a minor arcana here. And is this little minor arcana of your person getting in their own way where they, you know, for, for what they're going to do with you or their feelings for you is no match for an ace and a major arcana. It's no match. Okay. It's not going to happen. Uh, this person, it, you guys are going to have a passionate new beginning. And this is what I'm seeing. If we look at the flow of this reading this is what i'm seeing in the month of april things are moving in the month of april whereas in in march they were just sort of spinning around in circles march is probably when your person had the epiphany all right if you look back on the march readings it was probably oh my god that they're finally realizing how much happiness you bring them all right but you know this card right here the universe is basically saying you know oh shit you know um what do i do i'm co i'm confused now um, but the two, all they want deep down is for you two to come together in a passionate new beginning. Let's clarify. I'm going to shuffle the deck for this sun here. What's this sun card here about, universe? What's this sun card here about? Gemini, I like your readings. I always like doing Gemini readings. I like it when I get a Gemini in a personal reading. I like it when I get, I really like Gemini readings. I don't know why. Even when they're bad, if they're negative, you're always the good guy. Or gal at in the reading it's really weird and you're the good you're the good guy or gal here and, and and you both feel this happiness yeah but you're probably a little annoyed with this person a lot of you I know it's a general reading okay pulling from the collective energy your story your specific story is just an offshoot off of that so you need to apply what I'm saying a little lateral thinking but I imagine you're a little annoyed with this person I don't doubt it because they're just getting in their own way. Oh, I'm going to go toward Gemini. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, no, no, no. Even though there's all this happiness here. Yeah, they, they blew you off in the past. I know that. It's right here. The universe is telling us that. But it's going to tell us more. What's this sun? Let's clarify. Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Oh, my God. The sun. They see you, male or female, as the Queen of Pentacles. Long-term stability. I bet you're stacking up some money. I bet you got. I bet you're doing okay. A lot of you Gemini's. I bet you're all right. Uh, I, I guarantee it. I, I guarantee it that they they see stability and long term with you. If if it's not financial, then you're you're at least an all right person. You know, kind of a thing. Someone you could have a long term relationship with, who isn't going to sit around and drink all night and call you names and 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 hit your friends on the ass or something. You know, I mean, you don't want someone like that. 
Uh, right here, Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups clarifying the Queen of Pentacles and the Sun. Do I even need to tell you anything? All the, all the love is still in this cup. They haven't dumped it out yet. They're about to burst. Look, all that's showing between these two cards is the burst in the middle. I mean, they're about to burst, okay? I told you, they're jumping around like their head's on fire and their ass is catching because of this Four of Cups. And this, they, they know they're getting in their way and all they want is this new beginning with you. What's this Two of Cups? What is it? Yeah, it's about balance. They know that balance needs to come to the situation. You probably know that too. This is the Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. This person, and I'm, I'm, getting, your, I'm getting two energies here. Yours is outgoing because I'm pulling a reading for you. Theirs is incoming. All right? They know that they didn't give equal give and take. I know they didn't too, and so do you. All right? You were probably the only one given to this for a long time, or at least the majority. All right? And I bet that this connection for a lot of you out there is the reason why you're never going to take anybody on ever again, all right, that, that doesn't come with as much as what you're given, all right? It's about reciprocation. Energy requires reciprocation. Whether it's energy in love or whether it's energy in electricity that runs your car or runs the things in your house, it all requires reciprocation. Any electronics technician will tell you that reciprocal calculations are important for figuring out how something works. It's about reciprocal energy, all right? It, it, that's how it works. It works, this energy is energy, whether it's electricity or it's the energy we're talking about here, the energy of the universe, it requires reciprocation. When it doesn't have it, we don't get the two cups coming together, all right? We get the crap that you're here, that you've been dealing with and why you're here, all right? And look at this. This is how they feel. They know they need to come in. And uh, with equal give and take, they know they haven't been given it. The, all the love is left in this Ace of Cups. And, and we, we, look, look, the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, passionate communication. This is all they want to do is communicate. Of course, because the final outcome, all they want to do is the Ace of Wands. All they want is a passionate new beginning. But you know what? It's not what they wanted in the past, is it? No, it's not. This sun car didn't just come out of nowhere. It's been there the whole time. The energy of the connection lives in the 5D. You two are 3D people. You feed your energy into it and make it good or bad. All right? In the 5D, this, this, this connection was always filled with happiness and filled with love. It still is. Nobody's really tapped into it yet. Instead, maybe you've given up on it or, or you're like, you know what, I tried. Okay, but they, they've been pumping negative energy into it, all right? Negative energy is indecision. It can be a lot of things. It's not just meanness or anything like that. It's indecision. It's self-sabotage. It's looking away from it. That's all negative energy, all right? Pumping that into a, an energy source that's all positive with the sun is it, going to get a feedback. Try, you know, it, it's going to feed back on them. And that's why they're in the state they're in right now. And that's why I'll probably extend this video because I want to find out what's going on with your person. I want to know how they feel about you really, okay, in their soul. And I want to know what the holdup is. What is this crap? Whoa, let's clarify it here. What is, oh, for God's sake. Are you serious? The five of wands, five, clarified by the five of cups. Oh, man, if we get the five of swords next, I'm going to shut the video off and just leave. All right, Five of Cups, this is the sad horse. This is regret, sadness. All right, what, what this is basically saying is your person is sitting in regret and sadness for this Four of Cups in a pool of happiness, all right? It's like, it's like jumping in a swimming pool on a hot day with your winter coat on. I mean, it's basically what they're doing, all right? It's stupid. It, they get, I told you, I get that they're getting in their own way. They're getting in their own way. The Knight of Wands, right there. Knight of Wands. All they want to do is come towards you. That's it. That's all they want to do. But we get positive and negative cards here. We get forward movement, passionate movement, Knight of Wands come rushing in. And then we got all these cards that are hindering it here. Oh, but I'm sad. Oh, but I need to focus on this. Oh, but there might be fights. Maybe Gemini will be mad at me. That kind of thing. They're just coming up with it. this right here. These three cards just say, I, I'm coming up with a bunch of excuses. 
That's what it is. When all they want in their emotions, in how they feel, is to come to you with equal give and take, with communication, honest communication with this Eight of Wands, and bring these two cups, these two souls together. All right, now I think that's probably all you want too, but I think a lot of you I'm getting from the Gemini energy are a little like, you know, this ain't gonna happen, Steve. You know, some of you are sitting out there saying that. This person's never gonna get it together, Steve. All right, I don't know. Uh, you might be right. We're not done throwing cards. We're not even halfway done here. So I don't know. Let me shuffle the deck for this four of cups and let's see what the universe wants to tell us. These are also hidden energies right here, by the way. Although I don't think that four of cups is too hidden, is it? I mean, you know darn well how this person treated you. It's going to vary for all of you. It's a, it, it, it's a general reading. You got to apply your story to it. But I mean, you wouldn't be here watching me if this person treated you great. All right, everything's perfect. They're sitting right next to me, Steve. I'm just watching this video because there's nothing on TV. You know, I, what, what's wrong? With, I, if, if that were the case, I'd ask you, what's wrong with you? There's got to be something on TV. Maybe an, if, you, if you're in a happy, re, happy relationship sitting next to the person, an infomercial is fine. You know, whatever. Just sit there and make out during the infomercial. I don't know. Uh, four of Cups. Oh, is my deck upside down? My deck's not upside down. Okay, this is rare. I'm real, real anal about putting my cards in upright after readings. Two of Pentacles reversed. And the universe wanted to make damn sure I read that reversed by bringing it out reversed. Now, I read reversals, but I, my cards are upright. I, if the energy's reversed, I just give it to you that way, okay? Uh, the Two of Pentacles reversed. They wanted to make sure I read that. That's clarifying this Four of Cups. And it ties to all this up here. So up here we got happiness and love. Down here we got in it, it but it's been rejected. It's been thwarted. It, it hasn't been given. It's been, apathy has been pushed towards it. All right. And what happened was your person's out of balance. Your person is out of balance. And I I, I got to pull another card because I know what this energy is, but I don't want to talk out of turn. Yeah, Knight Knight of Cups is clarifying that Two of Pentacles reversed. Okay which is in turn clarifying this Four of Cups. The Knight of Cups, I, I still see it this way, and I know it's not for all of you, it's a general reading, but for at least a, a good chunk of you out there, I'd say 40%, someone got in this person's head, All you know, they were supposed, this connection was supposed to come together. You were supposed to be with this person, okay? You were supposed to. That is clear in this energy with the Sun and the Ace of Cups, you're supposed to. This much sadness that's over here and this much BS that's over here and how they feel about you doesn't happen for something that's just some, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, Gemini, they're all right. You know, no, you're more than all right, Gemini. You're the Queen of Pentacles, male or female. Someone got in this person's ear and influenced them and this Knight of Cups never happened. All right, it's the hidden energies. It's a hidden Knight of Cups. A Knight of Cups that never happened, okay? Uh, your person's out of balance, and they're out of balance because they're they're not listening to their intuition. They're listening to what whoever is around them is saying, or or the opinions of the public. You know, oh, you should maybe you're on the internet, okay, and that's all you know this person from is the internet, and all they're seeing is stories about how oh you're going to get catfished or goat fished or whatever it's called. Uh, I don't know, uh, something like that. You know, that kind of thing. It's just really stupid. The whole energy is really stupid. Not you, Gemini. You're fine. You did all the right things. I, I feel that. I feel that you did. This Six of Pentacles tells me that. You gave. You tried. You didn't get reciprocated energy back. A one to one. I give this to you. You give this to me. That kind of thing. It didn't happen. Ace of Wands. What is it? Look at this. Final outcome of this reading. Despite all this crap, is victory, six of wands, transformation, that little green butterfly, and an ace of wands, which is a passionate new beginning. All right? I don't even know where the hell this comes from. That's probably why I'm going to expand this video because I don't have any idea why this is the final outcome. And I got to pull another card. The King of Cups. They're not going to tell you everything when they come in. They're coming in. Okay? I don't know when. I don't have a timing idea here this is near future so three to six months two to six weeks you know your situation better it could be two to six days 
all right? My guess is it has something to do with April's energy, all right? I know it's a timeless reading, so for those of you watching two years from now on in August, just ignore I said that. Sometime within the next few weeks, I would imagine, at the most, okay, for all of y'all out there, uh, we got a passionate new beginning, uh, victory after a battle for you, Gemini, uh, and just a card to let you know that they're coming in with about a half a cup of love, all right? They're not going to reveal everything to you. I think they're a little nervous that that five of wands can be nervousness, all right? It can be can be i don't know let's shuffle the deck and pull some universe cards see if there's anything else the universe can tell us about this connection this person that for gemini's greatest good all right universe operates on a greater good principle all right that's why tarot readers can pull these tarot cards and not get hit with a bunch of negative karma because we're helping somebody we're digging into a person which is wrong you shouldn't do it but we're helping somebody by doing it so it's for the greater good because a lot of you are suffering because of this person. I can feel that. A lot of you out there suffering because of this person. You're just suffering. Uh, my voice goes up and, 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 and breaks like a 12-year-old. Suffering. So I turn into a cartoon character. But you are. You're suffering. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune's turning on. I asked, I asked the universe. I just got done saying, well, how the hell? I don't even see how the hell this happens. And there it is. It's because the universe is stepping. I told you, you guys are destined. You're supposed to be together. The wheel is turning on this. The wheel of fortune don't come in in a reading, okay, for two people that just meet in a bar and go out to the parking lot and bang one out. All right? It doesn't, it, the universe, God, source, whatever you want to call it, doesn't get involved in that. All right? That's just dumb luck and too much beer. All right? So right here, the universe is stepping in. Wheel of fortune. The wheel is turning. Communication. The bird. Secrets revealed. Okay? Secrets. The moon revealed uh, the eclipse down here at the bottom. All right? The wheel is turning on this. The universe is stepping in. That's why this, in spite of all this, all right? Yeah, they want to communicate, but there's blockage here. Uh, in spite of all this, there's, there's an Ace of Wands and a Six of Wands that ends it. Now, don't be overly thrilled. They're not going to come in with the... They're going to tell you about half of what they love you. Probably about a quarter of this Ace of Cups. All right? But they'll open up over time. Your person's a little... Obviously, anybody that gets Five of Wands for how they feel about somebody is a little bit afraid and closed off. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll dig into them in the extended reading and find out why that Five of Wands is there. Uh, you might want to watch the Cancer reading too. Uh, my Cancer's got the Five of Wands as well. They kept coming up a lot. Came up in their uh, weekly uh, reading that I did this past week. All right, for the week we're in now, and it came up over here where your Ace of Cups is in the connection. Here, right here for you, that's pretty powerful. So if you got Cancer in your chart anywhere, uh, you might want to watch that reading. And even if you don't, you might want to as well. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Look at this. The universe is really stepping into this. This is the judgment. I got judgment clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, the card of destiny. Judgment is this thing coming, rising from the ashes, coming back from the dead. Some of you Geminis think this is long gone. I already said I felt that some of you out there are yelling at your screen, no, Steve, this ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen, Steve. Your reading's wrong. My readings are never wrong, okay? I, I can't do a lot of things. But I can read energy. It's like the one thing I can do. I, I sometimes can't even put gas in a car without spilling a gallon of it all over the place, having to speed out of there. Like, oops, sorry. It'll evaporate. Don't worry. You know, but I can read energy. And I'm telling you, I'm not wrong here. This is, this is what's happening. If this is resonating with you, if this title brought you in here, this is your person. You've got to apply it to your story. But this thing's coming back from the dead. This is, and there's communication here. And again, this final outcome, as unexplainable as it is, is being explained by the universe right here. The universe is stepping in. Call it God. Call it source. Call it whatever you want. It's stepping in. This is a destined connection with judgment clarifying the wheel of fortune. Listen to this. Three of swords. Next two, next two card message from the universe. Three of swords. There's a lot of... Your person... All this denying of things that your person's doing and getting in their own way, we already know is causing a lot of sadness for them. Your person is heartache. All right, this They've caused nothing but heartache here. This whole connection has caused nothing but heartache. All right, 
And we got the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Swords. They, they want this heartache to stop. All right? They want it to stop. I don't know that they've had the realization yet or uh, because the, the energies would indicate that they're still getting in their own way over here. But either way, this Ace of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy. It's a good offer coming your way from this person. All indicators show, especially toward the final outcome and the messages from the universe, that not only do they want to communicate, they will. All right? And I gave you time in earlier. Right? That's the best I can say. It's definitely part of April's energies for sure. All right? Now, they can still get in their own way. But, you know, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, by the way, is a slow-moving energy. This has been going on a spell for most of you. This has really been going on, all right? It's been going on a while. Oh, my God. Bottom of the deck is verification. Just the last card at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. That's divine timing. This is all supposed to be happening the way it's happening. I don't know why it's supposed to teach you both something or whatever. It's also a card of waiting, all right? You're just going to have to be patient and wait. And you know what? I don't even think it matters if you walk away and just say, you know what, I, I, this is never going to happen. Steve's full of crap. And maybe you'll just be surprised and they'll show up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the next card out the top is the Three of Wands, which is waiting. Okay? Waiting, waiting. You've been waiting for this person a long time, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. Gemini. Sorry. Scorpio. Why did I say Scorpio? I was thinking of the death card. That's why, because it's the second to last card in here. Oh, that's why. All right, you've been waiting for this person a long time, Gemini. You really have. And if I ever called you Scorpio throughout this me this reading, I apologize. Maybe your person's got some Scorpio in their chart. I don't know. I got Scorpio on the brain, but this is, I assure you, is a Gemini reading for sure. Uh, you've been waiting on this a while. All right. There's a lot of happiness here. Uh, we need to dig in a little bit if you want it. There's probably going to be a link to an extended reading there in the video description. If you want it, you want to know how this person feels about you and maybe what the holdup has been, okay, or what's going on, what's, what's coming in the near future, we'll do a full spread and we'll find out, all right? We'll do a straight up gypsy reading, we'll find out, we'll pull energies, pure energy reading on the incoming energy, all right? So there you go. I hope this reading was helpful to you. Just keep waiting. They're coming. They're, they're coming. Uh, I think it's all part of April's energies. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate that very much. So I'm going to do your extended reading now. For those of you who are heading over there, you'll, you'll see it there. Links in the video description. All right.